Hi, I'm Neeraj Agarwal. I lead BCG's business in Asia Pacific. Hi, I'm Dylan Bolden. I chair uh, BCG's functional practices. And we're here today in Davos, uh, where a lot of the conversation has been about AI and its impact on business and society. And we're here today to share some questions that we've been hearing. So Dylan, you led our digital practice in North America. Now you lead our work globally. Let me ask you a hard question straight up. What are clients getting right about AI? And more importantly, what are they not getting right about yeah. AI? It's a great question, Neeraj. I think what we find is at this point, most companies have implemented or trying to implement AI solutions, but only 11% of companies have actually found the value okay. that they went after. What we find is companies are not focusing enough on the people agenda. They're not focusing on the learning agenda within the corporations. And in fact, 10% of the value from AI comes from the, the algorithm, 20% from the tech, the tech side, and 70% from the people side of change. And, that's, and so focusing more on, on the people side is actually where all the value is. Underneath that, there's three key points that we find. One is, it's absolutely critical to make sure that you know where the value, where, where, where the value is gonna come from. Two, we make sure that you look at to digital natives around ways of working. Uh, and then three, and finally, you gotta really bring the people strategy into this work. What we find is that upskilling and reskilling of your employees is absolutely critical. And in your experience, clients which are doing this right are genuinely getting the value. Clients that do this right see the value. But the interesting part is, is they have to do all these things to get the value. Not just doing one little piece gets the value, you need to pull all those levers together to actually see so, all the upside. And upsides. the more you get all together, the, the curve is not linear. It's asim it's, the, it's the, the curve is exponential. No. Niraj, there, there are a lot of misconceptions around AI and what it does to an organization. What's something surprising that you've learned recently? AI is a lot about efficiency and productivity, mm -hmm. and that happens, right? But what I have learned is, at its best, it helps improve learning, collaboration, and morale. And look, we're living in a world where talent wants to work in places where they feel actualized. And learning, collaboration, and morale are vitally important. So to me, that itself is the reason to embrace AI, leave aside the value creation and the efficiency gains. Yeah. This world of AI is changing rapidly. Yeah. As you crystal ball gaze into the future, what excites you about it? Many things I'm excited about, Neeraj. I mean, one, I'm just in general excited to see business trans transform and, it, and to really get a front seat to watch our clients get there. Two, I, I, I'm excited to see you know, more attention being paid towards responsible AI. What we see is that 82% of the public you know, wants to see it, but a lot of the companies are just learning how to do it. And then I'm also excited to see work BCG is doing, bringing the AI and the climate agenda together. So look, climate and sustainability is one of the toughest problems. And to be able to do it well, it needs to leverage the power of data. You need data in measuring and then in controlling beyond that. So let me give you a couple of facts. So our analysis shows right now that only 9%, 9% of the companies measure their emissions effectively. And even those 9% get it off in a margin of one third to you know, 40 percent points. Yeah. So if you can't even measure what your starting point is, it's very hard to decide where you want to get to. Right. So this is going to be a critical enabler. And while we talk about scope one and scope two, the real problem is scope three. Yeah. And scope three means you need to work with people beyond your supply chains on both your procurement side and your end consumers. And I think data is going to be integral to solving that. Right. So this is going to get strongly intertwined. And I'm excited about that. Yeah. Because the progress we're making on AI will I think I feel good about the possibilities that can be unleashed. Right, it's, great. it's really good to see those two agendas come together. Absolutely. So.